this is where I'm meant to be, like looking after the, the poorest in our society and the ones who just can't get to a normal practice and, and looking after them. Robin Main has been a mobile optometrist for 15 years, travelling from her home to aged care facilities across Perth. But when the pandemic hit last year, she went for weeks with virtually no work. Aged care facilities back then were just in total lockdown, if you remember. No one could go in. So my business went to, from a going OK to flat zero. Um, I, you know, yeah, I, I just earned nothing for about a month. Robin could have applied for the $1,500 a fortnight JobKeeper wage subsidy from the federal government, but decided against it. I didn't need to take any more money from the government. I, I didn't need it. So why, why take something when you don't need it? About one million employers collected around $90 billion in subsidies to keep their staff. Among them were retail giants, Specsavers and Luxottica, which owns OPSM and Sunglass Hut. They're the dominant players. You'll see them in every major town or shopping strip in Australia. Between these two companies, they've uh, benefited $130 million in increases in profits purely as a result of JobKeeper. Specsavers headquarters is on the British Channel Island of Guernsey, a popular tax haven. Optometry and audiology stores in Australia are owned and operated independently by franchise partners. Should have gone to Specsavers. The company's Australian accounts reveal revenue initially fell steeply last April before recovering to finish down just 1% over the year. Despite this small dip, head office and individual stores more than doubled their profits to a combined $150 million. Specsavers received about $92 million in JobKeeper. Under the scheme's rules, companies that ended up making money last year don't have to pay back a cent although it's understood Specsavers has repaid about $4 million. Absent the miracle of JobKeeper, this could never have happened. You can't suddenly make 100% more profit unless your expenses fall. It's just common sense. Until September last year, companies never had their eligibility for JobKeeper retested by the tax office including those that experienced a rebound in revenue. Investment analyst Dean Patch is critical that the scheme wasn't tightened earlier. The taxpayers kept paying that wage subsidy, even though in every state and territory, apart from Victoria, after July, things had returned to normal. It gave a benefit to the employer that flowed straight through to the profits of those offshore owners. We have innovative lenses for every lifestyle. And a wide range of frames, fits and brands. Great eye care starts with OPSM. It's a similar story at Luxottica, the eyewear giant behind OPSM and Sunglass Hut. Its European parent company is chaired and part owned by one of the richest hundred people on earth, according to Forbes. Luxottica's Australian accounts show its revenue also fell slightly, but profits were up last year by $50 million. With help from JobKeeper, the bill for employee expenses, including wages, fell by $56 million. The billionaire owners of OPSM and Specsavers, they can declare a dividend at any time to take the money out of Australia. Good morning. The Federal Treasurer Josh Frydenberg says JobKeeper saved at least 700,000 jobs. Earlier this month, he defended not tightening the scheme earlier or having a way to recover money from profitable companies. 
As you know, the program went for 12 months, and for the second six months of that program, we had a tapered rate, and it was based on an actual decline in turnover. Why didn't you include a clawback provision in the original plan? Well, if you go back to the mindset of businesses back then, when there was thousands of people lining up outside Centrelink, if they were going to have to pay back that money, then they wouldn't have necessarily taken it in the first place, and you would have seen jobs being lost. <laughs> In a statement, Specsavers says the JobKeeper scheme was invaluable and enabled its store partners to stay in business. Perth optometrist Robin Main also had a strong recovery in the second half of 2020. She's adamant not taking JobKeeper was the right thing to do and hopes the industry's big players repay the funds they didn't need. I sort of hope they will give it back if they've taken what they didn't need in the end. I hope they have that far-sightedness to see that, like me, in the end it was okay. We had a good year, guys. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.